Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. Watch yourself, boss, because we sure will be. skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. You believe that? I didn't vote for this guy. How come he gets to be over? Look like much to me. You wanna talk? Hey there. So, you engage his little pet project. Head project? What's that supposed to mean? Gage didn't say anything. Apparently, we're not good enough to run this place ourselves. Gage wanted to bring in his own little puppy to replace Coulter. But I guess training a puppy is way easier than getting us to do what he wants. <laughs> and what are you? His grandma? <laughs> if I was, I would have slit that little suck-up's throat a long time ago. Gage will never be one of us. He's a failure. He's lucky we're giving him a second chance. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. I bet you guys are great at parties. Side with us, you'll soon find out. Just don't slack off when it comes to actually doing your job. We got Coulter Nuka Town, and suddenly he forgot the big picture. We both know how that turned out. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. I thought it was pretty impressive. Good to see the new boss at least has some taste. I might let you keep that head on your shoulders after all. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. And never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. <laughs> it depends on what you're looking for. Someone who's not afraid to get blood on their hands and make some real changes around here. You see, the Disciples don't make a difference. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair. Or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. We'll see how this plays out. For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. Hey, any of you hear that Nisha wants supposedly to tell
If you come across any herbologist crazies, just ignore them. I told those freaks to stick to their camp. I heard you put a pretty good beat down on Val. What happened? I was out of smoke since she didn't want to hook me up. Hell, in that case, she deserved it. It been a lot worse for a cigarette. <laughs> I remember. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. It's gotta be around here somewhere. We can head on in. is a vault dweller. Or ice the vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Hey. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know... What did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Bored? Kind of like this conversation, now that you mention it. Hey, you don't get to talk to Mags that way. It's all right, William. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Um... Soda? Huh. <laughs> Not quite. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountain top. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, We'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Actually, I'm really more in this for the soda. Great. Another nut- William. Of course, overboss. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. But do take a little time to consider the kind of life we could all have if we put this place back to doing what it does best. Should be a couple odd jobs available if you want to get your hands dirty. Talk to Max. I thought about trying my hand at the Godwood just to see if I could do it. <laughs> Wasted. Master William normally had me frisk visitors, but you get special treatment. Caught one of the traitors stealing food. You or a wolf? It's the pack. Turned him loose. Welcome to the nest, boss.
killing you. Whoa. Oh. You have to wait in a long while to see me. No. I walked right up. Exactly. Most can handle their own shit. Bobby. Help to find me in your place here. No. No. I can handle it. There's plenty of color in the kitchen. Very easy keeping the zoo. We all do our part. Now that I get a closer look at you, not sure I'm doing this new overboss thing. I'll send you my resume. The fuck's a resume? Whatever. No matter. Who's Mason? Max Alpha. This here's our side. You might be overboss. For now. But I'm the boss of the pack. And it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. The pack? You smell like animals. Ah, I heard that one before. Look, it ain't like anyone who woke up about a filter. Just figured on his replacement being. Well, different. Age says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be over, boss? If I thought the other gangs would go wrong, yeah, I'd run this boss in a heartbeat. You turn out to be a turd. At least it ain't Mag Black, that freak Nisha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Cole. I have big plans for this place. Maybe the real deal. Well, we thought Colter was the real deal, too. He's laying in a pool of his own blood. Don't get me wrong, Colter was definitely over. Not a man. Things were good in the beginning. Really good. But that was a year ago. Then Colter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. I'm listening. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the power of hat we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy. Not even the disciples. Man, I'm a chipper bunch. They're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast. But Katie breaks back. Got us together. Promise to find something to deal with colder. So, what's the real story behind Gage? Hey, I only know what I've heard. The story is that Gage talked Colter into becoming a the boss. And he got you in love, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe he lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Colter went soft, Colter got us off the closed doors and promised he'd get someone to off Colter. And you did.